Traders, what's good? Thank you guys for joining me for Monday's daily market analysis. For today, we'll be looking at three different pairs. We'll be looking at the pound dollar, the euro USD, and the euro Aussie. And this is in response to Sunday's weekly market preview. And if you're wondering why there isn't a video posted up, it's because I posted the analysis in our private trading group. So I'll just put some screenshots of what I was looking at on these three pairs. So the first thing that we'll be looking at today will be the pound dollar. And as, as I mentioned in the group, I was looking for a potential move downwards because when the markets closed, um, it didn't really form a double top, but I was looking for a retest of these highs right here to potentially enter short. But as you can see, this was the candle that the market opened up with and we had a very nice move downwards and um, basically price consolidated for the whole day, the whole of Monday. And as you know, um, consolidation breeds patterns and we actually have a very nice bearish cipher pattern. We have our X to A our A to B and our B to C and our CD completion coming around here the 786 and as you can see price pushed up past the X leg however not closing past it so more or less it is a valid pattern but unfortunately I don't trade on Mondays and we had a very nice move downwards for about 30 pips and um, this could have been a really good opportunity if you were on it but I'm still looking for a potential retest of these highs before entering short position so this is something that I'll be looking at um, in this week and moving on the next pair we'll be looking at will be the euro USD and um, if I were to look on the four hour time frame the high time frames you can see that euro has been very bullish recently and so I'm looking for a potential uh, trend continuation trade just a very simple analysis on this um, I'm looking for a bounce off this 618 level of this swing low to swing high and a potential retest of this area before we go for a long uh, before we go for a long opportunity and as you can see, if you look left, you can see that we have a very nice area of structure. So this could potentially be a decent area of entry. Just a very simple um, trend continuation structure based analysis. Nothing too complex like patterns or stuff like that. Not much Fibonacci involved, just a simple retest of this level. So this is the Euro USD. We're about, um, I think about 30 pips away. About 30 pips away from the 618 level. So if price can push down into this area right here, I'll definitely be looking for a long position. And um, if you zoom out on the forward time frame, you can see perhaps the daily time frame. I'm actually aiming for this level right here, this straight line, because this is the level, the previous um, highs of the election, election highs as I like to call it. And um, this could potentially be an area where we can find a lot of sellers. So this would be a target if price pushes down into our 618 level right here. The next pair we'll be looking at will be the Euro Aussie. And um, this, like the... Uh, like the euro usd is just a very simple trend continuation trade if i were to zoom out you can see that price basically has possibly on the four but you can see that price has been respecting this bullish trend line we have a bounce here not quite a bounce here but you know you can see the price is coming to it and we have another bounce here so something i'm looking out for would potentially be a bounce off this before going for a long entry and if i were to zoom in on the hourly charts you can see that this is um something quite possible if price comes down in this area currently it's about uh 58 pips away so this would be a conservative entry however if you wanted to go for a more aggressive entry you can use this uh, minor trend line if we take this and uh, join the two lines together we have uh, this week joining up with this week we can potentially look for a long opportunity if price comes down to this area and like i said this would be a really aggressive entry more conservative traders like myself would possibly wait for a retest of the, the major trend line before going for a long opportunity however if you're aggressive feel free and go ahead it's your account not mine and go for a long opportunity right here so this has been the daily market analysis here at elementary fx thank you guys for joining me i'll update you guys if i do take any trades in our trading journal and in the private trading group private trading group. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily market analysis.